Tell me I'm crazy, I think it's amazing to get lost into the night. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. How are we doing today? I forgot to change my, uh, my source. Hang on. One moment. Forgot to change what, uh, game source it wanted to use. This one. There we go. There we go. We got everything sorted now. How am I ending good, Brendan? How are you? Um, so we're in the Bonanza today, which I figured we'd do just for funsies. 
fly flew into your PC before created a rather large bang that your PC turned off. I think the fly shorted something. Um, how are we good with fuel? Oh, way good with fuel. Um, let's just immediately get the plane starting up. It's a bit quiet. There we go. Leave the alternator on and the avionics master on. So it's this on. And we're just going to be going direct. This is more for reference than anything else. Because I want to fly via 4 today. At least for this flight. PC is fine now. Sweet. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, stand by. Let's block VFR. I want in the radio stack 149. Oh, fantastic. It is actually after picking up immediately. Go, so we're going to be wanting to fly. Uh, what was that? Zero three zero, almost exactly. Fantastic. Um, let's get some weather. That weather uh, for HBBA uh, one eight zero one eight. Okay, so we're taking one seven broken one hundred. Can H one zero one two? Have to go in here. Let me just change uh, this to the. Weathers. Zero one two set. Cruising altitude today is going to be two and a half thousand feet. We're not going to be going very high up. Um, <laughs> except we can't. We'll have to go five thousand feet. Uh, we'll go. For, actually, we'll go four thousand. I'll just amend my flight plan accordingly. Um, go flight level. There we go. Uh, let's get panel lights on, the taxi light on, beacon and nav on. Don't need the fuel pump, don't need landing lights. And we are more or less ready to go already. You tried this, it's very com too complicated for you. The Bonanza? Um, best tip for like learning to fly in flight sims, it's gonna sound stupid, is make mistakes. Like, watch people who know what they're doing. Um, ask people questions and fail. <laughs> fail to do it yourself and you'll learn way more. Uh, today is Sunday, Pama dude. Today is uh Place Sunday. Peter Heat doesn't need to go on until we're getting up into the air. Um How are we doing for all settings here? We're good. Gonna need to remember to swap fuel tanks at least once during this flight, but let's get the parking brake off. Get a bit of a taxi going. When is MP? That'll be tomorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is my rudder control not working? Joystick. This needs to be set to rudder, please. Uh, rudder trim. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yes. Let's 
still not working. What's going on here? Okay, I want to view the back. Yeah. This is in the wrong setup. There we go. There we go. You school tomorrow? Well, don't worry. It won't be at like 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. It'll be after, after, at uh, the usual stream time. So we're going to go to runway 17 from here, which is basically going to be swinging ourselves around uh, near 180. Get squawking uh, altitude. We should be able to get down. Let's see, they're supposed to be taxis, but they're not. You're home at 4:30. Ah. Well, Paffy can't join the multiplayer. Don't worry. I'll um try and figure out ways to get people into the multiplayer who can't get in normally. So I do have a new Shadows plugin that I'm using today, which hopefully won't crash things. Um, also I need to figure out why... Uh, we're on a runway, so let's get strobes and landing lights on now. I need to figure out why my lures keep failing to initialize correctly. So holy cow, the, the small bit of... Oh, the stick turn isn't working now for rotor. That's fantastic. Why are you not working? You should be working. It's just decided I'm not allowed to use the stick today for... Rotor, okay. Is it working for everything else? Yeah, that's fine then. Um, I'm not ne gonna need to go short field configuration, which would be flaps one. In fact, I can spin around right here and take off with more than enough room to spare. Five eighty call that V one and we'll rotate. Pass the right gear up. FSV flight not started. Yes, thank you. If it's got me. So it is a bit, uh, a bit misty here in. I think I'm in Burundi. I am in Burundi. Go try and hand fly this. It's only a 94 nautical mile leg. It should be less than an hour. Hey, Hunter. Should be. Uh, Bit less than an hour we're in the air. Okay, we'll call that 
good there. The RPM is down to about 2,500. There we go. Just trim out the fuel as well. Perfect. Alright, we'll go like that. And like that. And yes, we should be ever so slightly more to the left here. According to this, we're pretty much bang on track. Kind of up to 4,000 feet now. Well, there's 3,700. So let's just pitch our trim small bit nose down in. There we go, perfect. And get the climb going again. Hey, SG. Oh, that's why airspeed's low, we've got a tailwind. That makes a whole, a whole lot of sense. I was, I was slightly confused why we had low, uh, low airspeed, we've got a tailwind. There's 4,000 feet. Barely, barely, barely VFR at the moment. There's our turn onto the radial. I didn't want to go too high today is, is basically number one the weather. Number two Yeah, you know, it's it's only about hundred nautical miles we're actually going in this leg. Um, next leg I'll possibly file uh, IFR and go a bit higher. But uh this sector, this leg, we're perfectly fine just hand flying and uh being visual. Hello, DMF. How's the, the um, how's all the sounds, by the way, guys? Because obviously I can't hear the full mix that you guys are getting through the stream. Um, I'm hearing a mix. I don't know if it's the correct mix. A bit more goes down in. Sounds good? Sweet. Can you guys hear the music? By the way, it'd be kind of cool to do a VFR leg today. Um, granted, I am going slightly instrumenty. Yeah, a little. I'll turn that off a bit. No, you can don't, plane. Go. Uh, two clicks is too much. One click more with the music. Get down. Sit down, boy. Slightly off course. In fact, we're gonna need to go higher. We are almost definitely gonna need to go higher. What's the engine? Oh god, the EGT is way too high. Let's uh, introduce a bit more fuel in. Introduce a lot more fuel in. 
Can I remove more fuel and get good EGT? How's that? Yeah, we need to climb. We're, we got some mountains. Uh, that's good for EGT. We're actually quite a bit off course. I'm just gonna introduce a small bit of rudder just to point the plane in the right direction. Turn a bit better. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to need to be a liar. Hey, he's Mister. Let's get some climbing going on. Not that much climbing, though. I was hoping 4,000 feet would be enough, but I didn't, uh, I didn't take into account the, uh, the mountains that there tend to be in this part of Africa. Looks a tad windy. Um, not really, there's only a two knot wind, it's just coming at me from an awkward angle. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we need to go a bit higher. That was a downdraft. Okay, yeah, we need to... We need to make with the openness fairly quickly, because... We've got... we got their appearance, boys! What happens if I crash? Um, then I restart the the flight. Updraft, come on. I need to be going up, come on plane. Come on, get out of the downdraft, get out of the downdraft, get out of the downdraft, there we go. Have to break and try and find a lower part of the mountains here. Got well, one notch of flaps in just to give us that extra little bit of lift. If I can keep climbing, I might be able to make my way over, but easier said than done. said we caught that updraft at a perfect time. You just thrown up by now. Yeah, this is why uh, planes have seatbelt signs. This is only like light to... Oh god, no, I gotta... Gotta make a turn towards where I need to go. Okay, come on. Keep the nose up. Keep the nose up. Do what I'm doing right now, guys. Ignore that beeping. That's just letting me know on a full flaps. Okay, 
Come on. Just a small bit higher. We're threatening to stall. Come on. <laughs> it's the first crash in a little while. Right. Um Try the same flight. Um, but I'm going to cancel this. Redispatch. Yeah, I can do this. Uh, dispatch advanced. And I want to go about 8,000 feet. Who needs runways? I'm on aircraft type. Damn it. Okay. Um, so we'll refly on VATSIM IFR. Can we do that? Ye yes, we can. Um, so we'll be going off on 7. There are no departures. Fantastic. I need to... Why are you trying to connect to Canada? Oh. Uh, three, six. Connect. Um, I'll change my flight plan to IFR. Change my cruising altitude to 8,000 feet. Actually, we'll make it 10,000. Actually, we'll make it. Yeah, we'll make it 8,000. Um, I'll be going direct. Out, uh, direct. It's better than X Squawk Box. Actually, uh, I can go Alpha four zero eight to uh, Eggnab. Then I'll need some weather. Variable of two, so I can I can go direct. Uh, direct. Send. I just filed effectively the same flight plan, but in IFR. So I need to do a small bit of tinkering here. Um, fly now. My vampire is the slunky. Well, I don't have the money, so. I don't have the money for anything by Fly Tampa. Next full. Boost pump on. Oh, my Lewis crashed. There we go. I'm gonna go straight up runway heading 8,000. Um, we'll go GPS. 
And I want nav vertical speed of 500. Okay. I want heading hold at uh, 175. So I'll set 175 heading here. We will... That's all configured. We now need to go... Enter flight plan. This is stuff that I hadn't planned, if you didn't guess so far. Um, and we're going... Gavda, and then I can just set direct egg map. Uh, so that we... and then direct Eggnab Is it Eggnab or Eggnav? Eggnab, perfect And then to the airport Fantastic so on heading hold, we're on vertical speed, we got the altitude set. That is all ready to go. And why is it saying pre -filed? Why not being con uh, protected by Vatsim? Hang on, I've got to open up Vatsby real quick. I'm trying to make sure I'm actually online on Vatsim. And I am. Heat scoops just being a bit of a turd about it. Right. Let's try this again. This time we will go short field config for uh, for takeoff. Just because I want to get want to get up, get flying as quickly as possible. Brakes, but they're not working very well. And by very well, I mean at all. Right, I'm going to want to set altitude 2000, landing strobes, everything else is set. Let's go. Hey, CD. Slide back pressure just to get up as quickly as possible. Come on. In the air. And we'll just nose down a small bit just to get speed up. Flaps can come up. And I'm gonna set autopilot on because the 
Lane is borderline uncontrollable. If it doesn't work this time, I have a plan. I have a backup plan. So, plan right now is just to get the plane as high as possible, as quick as possible. Um, and we'll engage nav. We got the flaps up, we got the gear up. Turn off the taxi light and landing lights right now. We are seemingly flying in the wrong direction, however. Yes, no. Why are you doing this? No. You're f you're flying in the exact wrong direction, plane. You're making trifle very nice, Luke Luke. Okay, sweet. So we're now heading where we want. I'm going to um, pull the RPMs down just to get the engine running sweetly. One about 2,500. Close enough. down the fuel mix to about there. Okay, 4,700 feet currently. Still actually, by the way, on the airport chart here. That's where we are in relation to the airport. So we're picking up altitude as roughly as quickly as I'd like. I'm hoping it's fast enough. Um, it's going to be once we get into these clouds over here that the problems really begin. And that's what I'm scared of. Once we get into a cruise, we'll be fine. It's getting to the cruise that's the issue. And actually getting over the mountains that's the issue. I, want, I really wanted to hand fly this lake. But of course, my luck in Africa means that it's... It's a storm again. Um, now, if this is too much for the Bonanza, which I'm starting to get the feeling that it might be, um, I'll go to the backup plane for this one leg, which is an Airbus. <laughs> But I'm, I'm hoping, that, like it's it's these mountains over here that are the entire problem. 
I'm hoping 8,000 feet, even 6,000 might be enough. Um, I'm hoping I can get it up fast enough to get over the mountains. You blessed the rains down in Africa. Could you not? Just, just for like a day. Could you, could you maybe not bless the rains? Because I'm cursing them right now. Bit less fuel. Perfect. Um. There's the mountains that I'm scared of. Just peeping through the mist. We might be good. We might be good, you know. I didn't realize that the weather was going to be memes. Um, Active Sky, come to my aid. What does the map say? The map says, I mean, you, that's that's really helpful, Active Sky. But, um... Could you maybe show where I actually am? Okay. Love is and oh I see For the benefit of everybody Here's the weather we're currently flying through. You're never supposed to fly through the red bits. And it's pretty much all red bits. Um even up to, up to Kigali. Once you get from Kigali, we might be good. No, we won't. Oh my god, this entire thing is going to be nightmares. Today's just nightmare weather. Fine. 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 Fine nature. Okay, we don't have enough fuel going into the engine right now. We got the starter kicking. Can turn off the fuel pump. And we've got the perfectly timed updraft. Absolutely perfectly timed updraft. That pushed us up to 8,000. Problem now is going to be maintaining 8,000. And also hoping 8,000 is enough to get over the mountains, because I can't see them. If you ever wondered what uh, quite severe weather looked like in a bonanza, it's this. I'm really hoping we're over the mountains. Because I... yeah. Um, I think we might be, you know? We might be through the worst of it. But the weather is definitely not playing nice today. Do you know that, that crash was the first time I've crashed in the World Tour since... Was it the... Leg in France? France to Andorra? When um, I managed to flat spin the Cirrus? Is that mountains ahead of me? Is that mountains? Oh god, it is. Are we high enough to get over? Oh my god. 
<laughs> Things you don't want to see for a hundred. Um, I might need to take manual control and just pull hard nose up. I do need to take manual control and pull hard nose up. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Come on, little Bonanza, you can do it! I believe in you, Bonanza! Just keep climbing! What the hell? I need to get the joystick visualizer so you can see some of these inputs that I'm having to do. It's like that's it's still the world's most basic joystick visualizer. By just turning on the. Uh, oh no, 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 no! Whoa, that was a bit too much! Let's turn on the yokes a bit. Let's see if you can see that now. Come on, little Bonanza. I believe in you. I probably shouldn't have chosen a Bonanza for this leg. No, do not, do not drop. Do not sink, because I don't trust where the mountains are. Okay, I think we're out of the worst of it. Don't just dive. Okay, autopilot, autopilot wants me to dive. Autopilot, do you think that's maybe a bit dangerous? By a bit dangerous, I mean we're over speeding. Oh, hey, there's a road <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, hey, Sephard. At Thank you. Ah, what the hell? We're at eight thousand feet. Not that you, uh, not that you think it from this terrain. Yeesh. Yeah, four thousand was maybe a bit. Um, Ambitious to try and get across this train. Good grief. I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm really glad that um, we managed to get through second time, because that first one was just no. What? Why did it lag so much just then? I think that might have been a weather reload happening. That uh, first attempt was was never gonna work. I don't think. I think we were always doomed to hit the mountain once I leveled off at four thousand. Because then I had to try and get up really quickly. And, uh... Game, why are you lagging so much today? We should be good now for the rest of this leg. 
Um, let's get some information about uh, where we're headed in Kigali. Um, name of the airport elevation is two and a half thousand. That's fine. Uh, that's no, that's Burundi still. Kigali, please. Airport information. Airport elevation is higher than I'd originally planned to even fly. Um, we'll be taking the south apron, I think. Actually, no, we'll take the VIP stand on North Apron, which is, um, on Alpha. So, what, what approaches do we have? All the approaches are for 2-8. That's fantastic. I'm guessing runway 1-0 is less than advised. Um... So, we're coming on... Effectively, the Gavdo and Alpha. <laughs> Where we apparently have a plan. More than can be said about me. Oh, hey, look at the look at the ground clouds just suddenly disappear. Right. I think we're. I think. <laughs> I think we're good now. I think that's the worst of the weather for at least this leg. Done. Um, I'm hoping so, at least. So we are going at a, a true airspeed of 170 knots. It's not bad. means we are uh, 16 minutes out from Eggnab. Which, ooh, look at the, oh. That's interesting, it's. Oh, is my FPS that bad? Wow, okay. See the way these roads are fading in and out of existence? That's a script that I have that reduces um, LODs on stuff when I am um, running at a low FPS and those roads have LODs which are basically set to zero which means that I'm running terrible FPS at the moment. Um, Avatar, what's my FPS? 37, 38? That is quite bad actually but it's probably something to do with the amount of bloody mountains and clouds. We should be able to survive this flight. Oh dear. That was painful, to say the least. So, what did you guys get up to for the weekend? Did you do anything interesting and or exciting? Or did you just chill out and watch TV all weekend? Um, I mainly kind of just chilled myself. I did a bit of work, but mainly, especially yesterday, chilled. Um, Watched uh, the wrestling last night, watched AEW, and uh, then today I faffed about. <laughs> I'm lying. Um, watched a bit of YouTube, watched the well, actually watched the Formula One. Um, and uh, yeah, I did. I haven't been doing much this weekend. I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, and then, is it next week, I think? Uh, my sister is off to Mexico for a week. She's off to Cancun, which is very nice. 
Uh, she's flying that American Airlines flight to, like, tech, uh, is it Houston? American are running the, the flight to for the... I want to say it's like Houston or Fort Worth. Um, in the Dreamliner. And uh, I hate her because I want to go on the Dreamliner. Uh, <laughs> I am jelly. But, uh... Yeah, not a whole lot kind of going on for me at the moment. I've been working my butt off on other projects. And, uh... So that's all I've been doing off camera. Got everything ready for the hurricane, now just drinking, playing racing games with the wheel. What wheel did you get, Hunter? Did you get a Logitech, or did you get, a, like, a Thrustmaster, or a Fanatec, or one of the weird brands that I've never really heard of, but people rage uh, rave about them, but, about them being fantastic? Rage about them? People are very angry about these brands. Um... Oh, the G920. Very good choice. What game are you playing, Hunter? You playing, um... I'm gonna guess it's gonna be something like Project Cars or Assetto Corsa. It's gonna be one of those two, most likely. Because I would doubt that you're gonna be in iRacing, because that's a super hardcore dude sim that I hate. Well, I don't hate it. It's just too expensive for me. Um, I'm going to doubt you're in Mo Automobilista, because you've probably never heard of it. <laughs> going to doubt R Factor, because that's memes. Um, although, I guess you could be in ACC. You could be in Competizione, which is apparently okay. Um, or one of the Formula 1 games as well, I guess. Now, I'm trying to decide between Dirt Rally. Oh, Dirt Rally is very good. I can't play Dirt Rally. I'm terrible at it, but it's a very good game. Now, here's a conundrum that I'm facing for the next flight. Do I bring the Bonanza up again? and faff about with the Bonanza for a bit longer. Or... Do I grab the Airbus? Because I've really been enjoying flying the Airbus lately. Because um, I bought Tolus... Was it last week? The week before? Uh, the Tolus A319 and... Oh, it's so good! It's so pleasing to fly and the... Um, the sounds are just on point. So I'm tempted to bring Tolus up. But I'm also tempted to just stick in the um, in the Bonanza. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. And if you guys don't choose, I'll just stick in the Bonanza. It's the, it's the easy solution. Bonanza's this plane's more like bush flight. The funny thing is, Hunter, this isn't a bush plane. This is um, more of a recreational plane than a bush plane. Uh, it's actually much too fast. You wouldn't want to be going this fast in a bush plane, like, ever. Uh, unless, uh, well, I guess you could. You could, because the Quest Kodiak is a thing. That's a bloody turboprop. You could, in theory, use this as a bush plane. Um, it just doesn't have the right wheels at all. Meko, hello. I sincerely hope you missed the oopsie in... Um, in Bujumbo oh god. In Bujumbura. We might have another oopsie. I see problems ahead.
There are problems ahead. And by problems, I mean... Uh... I saw some lightning. Which means that there's a storm ahead. So we're gonna have to probably... You just got told you- oh, dude, sweet! You get your, um, you're going for your PPL then, I take it. If you get the right grades and stuff. So you're going for your, um, private license, I take it? Or are you going into some sort of, um, cadet program? It's gonna take 20 years. Hey, Mikko. Look up cadet programs. You're going to love me this. Look up cadet programs. There are some that can get you a first officer in a commercial plane within two to three years. Uh, from no flying license, no no pilot's license whatsoever. Um, downside of those, they are quite expensive. It's expensive, yeah. But I mean, if you get yourself... If you get yourself a part-time job, you can kind of part-fund and get a loan. Like... If you're impatient. It's gonna cost a million kroner. It, there's one in Ireland, Mikkel. Um, the I don't know if they're still doing it. The, I think it's Atlantic Flight Training for uh, Stobart. And I actually got a quote from them uh, for getting a license for a, a ATR seventy-two. Uh, that is something around 78,000 euro. Uh, and it's a 16-ish 16, month course. You the longer but easier route through the military. Fair enough. Hundred and eighty knots ground speed and here's yeah, here's the turbulence I was fearing. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on uh, the instrument panel. Not a full eye, but just like keep noting it. Uh you don't fly but you get bound to them for twelve years. Yeah, but the military gets to fly cool things. Like I actually I don't know what the Danish military flies. It's a bit like the, well, yeah. But I mean... The thing about joining the military and getting a license through the military is that airlines are going to be actually slightly more tempted to pick you up because you've been trained on discipline, which is something they quite like. Oh, God. Four minutes out from Etnab or Egnab. And this is going to be a fun approach. Once we get to uh, Kigali. Mako, for the next leg. Um, just wait until you get 36 year old, then you should be done. That's a good time to be going into airlines, to be fair. Unless they've all collapsed by then. <laughs> For the next leg, should I go... Well, stick with the Bonanza, or should I swap into the... Um, the Airbus? Because the Airbus will get it done a bit faster, and not be as heavily affected by the turbulence. But the Bonanza will be more memes. And... 
will be a bouncy boy. Because there's pretty much going to be turbulence the entirety of the next, uh, next leg. 747, no, 747 is just, it takes too long to set up. Um, plus I used the 747 last week. Don't like using the same plane two weeks in a row if, if I can avoid it. Uh, I, I could go, I guess, 737? But, again, I've used that fairly recently. The A319 I've not actually used on stream yet. A380, don't have an A380. I've got an A319, that's about as, as close as I get. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the white bodies, at all. Genuinely prefer, like, short haul... Short haul commercial and, um, GA. So I'm guessing you don't like Airbuses. I do. Well, st the side stick. I'm guessing the airport's going to be in that depression there. Um. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> the weather has changed. So the airport should be like directly ahead of us, but I'm not seeing it just yet. And that's probably down to it being much lower than we are. Um, I'm actually not seeing much at all. Can I disable the... These three can be disabled anyway. Fly with Lua. Let's take a journey somewhere for you and I. Let's get out of this place. A one way ticket to the stars. Follow our hearts, girl, without a chance. Yeah, it's looking like I can't edit it on the fly, which kind of sucks. Danish military doesn't, as far as I'm aware, doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. I want the airport up there. And just check the meter. It's from 4 o'clock this morning. It's 1020. Variable two knots. That can't be right, though. Two two zero at five. That sounds a bit more correct. Yeah, there we go. We got correct meter here. One zero two zero two twenty five. Cloudy. Fantastic. Um. And we have a runway two eight. So we'll take two eight. And we'll fly left traffic. So this is Kigali then. Where's the... What the hell is that? Oh, I see what the problem is. It's flattened out the airport, so it's faffed everything around it. Take manual control over this. We 
can start a bit of a descent. Trying Copenhagen? Been there, done that. Actually, I haven't been there yet in this tour, but I've been there uh, off camera. I no, I I tell a lie. I have not landed in Copenhagen at all. I took off from was it Billund? Billund near Copenhagen, but I haven't uh, actually landed in Copenhagen. Land Island all flat. Oh, it's like um, the Japanese airports then. Or most of the Japanese ones where they're on purpose built islands. Landing lights can come on. Nav light should already be on. It is. And we'll arrest the scent here. here. Okay, where's the airport? There it is. Oh yeah, this is gonna give us a nice, like, mile and a half. Mile, mile and a half final. That's perfect. Flaps. Just go flaps one for landing here, that's gonna be fine. We'll drop the gear as well. Gears down, three green. Just click one to four, I think that's right. Um, Mikkel, why not get like Vatsim or, or uh, Iveo? Why not go on one of the networks? Because like, Iveo's doing a big overhaul of their systems at the moment. They are online networks. You know what you do flight sims in GTA, I'm guessing GTA multiplayer. You can do the same thing in Iveo and Vatsim. I'm actually on Vatsim at the moment. And um, if you're flying into the right airports at the right times, you'll have like actual ATC. You'll have people telling you what to do and when. So you can um, practice talking to ATC and whatnot. I generally, at least at the moment, because of where I'm flying, don't get ATC <laughs> coverage. Africa isn't exactly known for its um, no, um, internet connections, we'll put it that way. Okay. Quite happy with how we're coming in here. Waiting for your favorite Explain streamers to come back. Who's that then, Miko? Coming 
too low. Fjallafar, I think. Is that how it's pronounced? Come on. Very good flare, he says as I tail strike on landing. Um, I think we'll grab the Airbus for the next leg. Just for funsies. Is there any streamer who got into explain recently? Very cool. Yeah, so it looks like the... Uh, that apron's more military. There's some GA, I'm seeing a... What's that, a Cirrus? Cirrus jet over there, vision jet. And over this side, it's... Also quite GA, that looks to be a bit more... Yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, North Apron, because it doesn't look as militaristic as the South Apron. He does speak English, somebody types him in Danish. So where's... Where's our turn-off? Have we already passed it? No, there it is. Or in English. That makes more sense. LATAM. That's a South American airline, isn't it? LATAM? I know every day and asks because I've been taught how to say it. Mikkel. Rud grud mit flud. Danish guy I talked to, Mikkel. Sorry to disappoint, so we'll complete that flight. And let's swap into the Airbus. Standard def. And corporate jet. Is there any way to see the normal planes? What do you mean? I just need to do some stuff over here now on uh, Project Fly because I don't have a... Um... Explain website. How does he ask twenty one? Oh, it's a glider. It does come with um, a seven four seven as well. So add new aircraft A three one nine. Um. Right. 
Oscar. So, how many feels love him? It's disappointing compared to FSX, but you gotta think, dude, that x -Plane has um, a lot of... Just disconnect from Vatsum real quick. Uh, x has got a lot of... Why is the light flickering? Interesting. x has got a lot of extra stuff that, x uh, that FSX doesn't. Um... Second. Try to resume the engine. There we go. I want the Tolus info there. We're going from. Uh, just update the map here real quick. Uh, HRYR2 uh, It's gonna be There's Lake Victoria Okay, there it is There's our airport High on route There is an airport there Was that it there in Teva? I could it was more in... I also be it. Yeah, it is. To... AGVN. Um... Oh wow, that should only take like an hour. Now you enter. November, not Mike. IFR Vatsim, perfect. Sim brief auto. And log back into Vatsim now. Disable, that's fine. Oop, connect. Briefing. Hey, 1174. Um, all these plugins, m most of them are freeware. Most of them are free. Some of them are, are paid. Uh, so we're flying from... ...to... U E N Yes Um A319 True airspeed will to use top of climb airspeed is gonna be 475 475 Nuts Nuts. Departure time is going to be about uh, 1850 Zulu. Cruising altitude is going to be uh, 29,000 feet. Uh, routing is going to be that. Flight time will use that number. Fuel on board, we we'll use this number. 210. Alternate is well, Tokyo Echo Lima. And we will. Uh, send that flight plan. 
Right, aircraft config, and we're gonna need this up and fly now. I'm gonna bring this over here. Because I'm gonna need my default config here. Passenger is 131. We got a lot of people in the plane today. There's 131. Okay, 131. And we're gonna have them just centrally ish. Uh, payload's 13.9. A zero fuel rate of 56 1. That'll do. Apply those little settings. Block fuel is going to be 5.3. Refuel, defuel. Fantastic. That's that sorted for. Oops for now so we can close this window now I need to get the plane up and running so let's get the batteries on uh, which I've lost where the battery button is it's there external power on the IRS aligning Emergency lights armed, seatbelt signs, some smoking signs set up. Um, whoops. Now the logo on. That's fine for now. PFD. And a loudspeaker set up. As well as. Mm, cams, the PFD. That's not the PFD. That is the MCDU. I'm not ready. Yeah, okay, first off, QNH is 1020. Well, here goes Missilization, we are going from uh, Roto Romeo Yankee Romeo to uh, Roto Uniform Echo November. Flight number is number 319 Yankee Oscar. Hit IRS. Cost index is 5. Cruising is 290. 290 at. Uh, decline is. Minus twenty nine. I'm not Wind request. There we go. Um, our zero fuel rate. I'll need to bring up the tallest data refs as well. There we go. Aircraft config is 28 uh, slash 56.1. Our block view is uh, block view is 1.7. time is at 1.7 slash 0038 not allowed to change that okay that's fine
Right. Um, performance. Actually, we'll enter the flight plan. Uh, HR, YR, and then it's going to be direct. Alsar. Hey, Ryan. And from Alsar, it's going to be via Upper Lima 432. To Mandy. Um, that is effectively the entire flight plan. Uh, performance now. We will be taking off. Uh, I need to go back to flight plan. Archer will be off of 2.8. No SIDS, insert. Performance now. We should have calculations available on here. Uh, we use one, perhaps one, so it'll be uh, one of 0.3. Uh, V1 is 152, V2 is 152, or VR is 152, V2 is 155. Transition altitude for this airport is not going to be 5,000, I can tell you that much for sure. Transition altitude is 9,000. Um... Flex temp is 67. What else am I missing here? Um, no, that's correct. That's all in. Flight plan. I'm going to want to just pop in the alternate here, which is HKEL. Should I need it? And the alternate flight plan is direct panic. And then direct kill. that one and we just clear this continuity perfect how long have been live for uh, about an hour or so actually probably slightly more uh, there's no counter on exploit that's really useful a while we'll put it that way All right three minutes to IRS align while we're doing that we can set up the speeds Uh, so our V2 is 155. Runway heading off 28 is uh, 279. And altitude will bring up to uh, 11,000 straight away. Um, in the three minutes we got left, let's turn on the APU. Standby compass on, dome light's fine, overhead integrity's fine. That's all fine, that's all fine. And I've just realized we're actually at the wrong airport entirely. <laughs> I've wasted all of that time because we're at at the entirely wrong airport. <laughs> I forgot to check that airport we were actually at. Oh my god. 
It just occurred to me that was where we started the stream. This is what happens when my brain goes onto autopilot. Is I start making flight plans at the wrong airport. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Okay, let's let's get this plane set up again. Need to enable the lure. It's got an external power straight away. Get the batteries on. Get the pumps going here. Get the IRS aligning. Uh, we already know that we're going to be one five five at two seven nine. Going up to eleven thousand. And the next farm some stream, that'll be tomorrow. I'll be streaming farm some tomorrow. Now it's... oh my god. How did I not notice that? Just want to double check that I've got the right light pond being enabled here. Yes. Um... <laughs> Double climb temp. Yeah, minus 29. Line RS. Uh, yes, I will need to fix the tallest data refs as well. Uh, no, because that's all correct. Uh, 2856.1. Twenty-eight fifty-six point one. Lock is one point seven. There we go. Um, flight plan. I'll close this for now. Taking off runway. Two eight insert. That's fine. That's Alsar. Upper Lima four three two. To Mandy. Return. Alternate is HCAL except alternate flight plan is PEMIC. Okay, 
community. Right, and uh, I will actually plan the arrival. I'm going to be landing at uh, 3 5. I'll plan Ornav 3 5 by the Mandy 1 Charlie. Uh, and I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, approaches Ornav by Jessam. Insert. Perfect. And we have about five minutes to the IRS Alliance, so I'll be right back in uh, one or two minutes. And I'm back. So we've got three minutes to IRS align. What am I forgetting here? I am fairly sure that I'm forgetting something. Yes, Nav or uh, the second IRS. That's gonna be seven minutes. Ah, oh, crap. Let's get the APU running. Oh, dear. Um, it's all three IRS going. Let's get the radio stacks on. 1228, fantastic. Stack 2 doesn't matter too much. Thousand fantastic system one and auto auto auto. Oh no, look at that weather. So 
we we'll, we'll have to wait for the IRS to align because I'll need both uh, both flight displays to be working. Because I want terrain on this one. I want weather here because that's going to be the immediate concern. Terrain can go over there. Doors are closed. APU's available. So let's disconnect the external power. Uh, get the APU bleed on. Just let the packs on. Pack flow can stay normal. Um, it's our outside temperature. Uh, so air temperature is 16, yeah, pack flow is normal, fine. Um, so yeah, we just need to wait for the IRS to align. We're here in Kigali. We're going to be flying from Kigali up to Kampala. So me an invite on Steam. I probably won't accept Hunter because I mean this in the nicest way. Um, my Steam is for friends of mine. Um, so that's IRS 1 and 3 are aligned. IRS 2 is the one that I'm waiting for now. That's going to be 7 odd minutes before that's ready. Um, heading needs to be fixed here. 279, yes. That's fine. Um, how long does engine start take? That takes about 2 minutes. So there's no point in starting the engines because we'll just be wasting fuel. That said, we've got 5,300 on board. Uh, just want to do a quick control check while we're waiting. Ah, we don't. Ah, we don't have hydraulics yet. Yes, that makes sense. Um, so doors are closed, which is great because now. We'll be waiting for the, um, the cabin just a bit less. Uh, we'll ensure that the cabin is good uh, before we take off. Um, fuel predictions. Ah! Haha! -ha. I knew I forgot something. Yes, open this again, please. We're doing flaps on takeoff. Uh, so it's... Uh, oh, the fuels. The performance has changed. Interesting. 146. Uh, 151. And... 153. We'll keep 155 just to be V2 plus 2. Um, transition is 9000. Uh, TH uh, flaps is 1. And it's still a 0.3. Flex temp is still 63. Flex temp is very important in Airbus. I don't know why that changed. We've got four minutes of IRS align. This is conveniently a stand we can actually taxi straight off. So we can get engine two running here. If the uh, Plane wants to start engine two, that'd be amazing. There we go, let's turn the packs off. It's gonna do all automatically, which is great. Three minutes to IRS align, 25% N2, fuel flows come in, exhaust gas temperatures coming up. And one's coming up. And we 
have should have fairly soon a good start on engine 2 2460 good start engine 2 start engine 1 And two's coming up when it's at 25, playing a lot of my clean start feel. We'll get engine temperature and we'll get N1 simultaneously. So there is 25, fuel in, engine temperature coming up, N1 coming up, engine pressure coming up, engine temp itself coming up. Perfect. Start cut out. Still introducing fuel to engine one. Two minutes to the IRS align. We now have APU off. Don't need it. And we just need to wait two minutes now for the APU to come in. While we're doing that, we'll select Flaps 1. And we will get the flight control checks done. Left, right, neutral rudder. Okay, that rudder control is not working. For left, center, full right. Neutral. Fantastic. Uh, so we have flaps 1 plus F. 0.3 up. We are good to take off. In theory, we'll need to take a uh, to config check in a moment. And we're just waiting for ILS or IRS 2 to align fully. Which should happen in a matter of seconds. And we'll be good. Uh, speed. We'll actually choose 173. Because that's V2 plus 20. 173, 279, 1, 1000, correct. Oh, Arthur! Hello from Armenia. Well, hello to you too, dude. IRS in line at 0 minutes, so it should be a matter of seconds before it's fully aligned. Once it's fully aligned, we can disable the parking brake and get taxiing to the end of the runway. Fully aligned. Parking brake can come off. Taxi lights can come on. And we'll do take, take up config check. Auto brake max signs on cabin. Not checked yet. Spoilers armed. We will check the cabin right now. Take off config check complete, take off no blue. Hello, Dad. Dad. Thank you for subscribing. I'm gonna guess that, that was you, Arthur. I don't have stream labels open today for some reason. And I can go check. Yes, it was you, Arthur. Thank you very much, dude. It's appreciated. Uh, just know that I don't stream x daily. It is a Sundays only kind of thing. Because my main game on the channel is Farming Simulator, which... Um, makes life interesting, I guess. Approaching. One. Zero. Yes, thank you, creepy... Creepy voice guy. Um, we'll now need TARA on that. On runway, one, zero. Back taxi the length of one, zero. Turn around, there's a turning zone at the end of runway two, eight. Right at the departure end, we will use that. Uh, strobe auto, landing lights can come on. And the nose light can go to takeoff. 
Everything else is set. And I think there's a setting in here somewhere for... Audiovisual settings, in terms of sharpness, sound, top of sound... Windshield rain effects, that's what I wanted. Perfect, that looks better. The wiper, it does nothing. Oh wow, it actually does nothing. So we should have some uh, cool rain effects on the go once we uh, get up to uh, get a roll and get our take off speeds. Oh, the wiper does something, it's just down there for some reason. Uh, let's get this wiper on as well. There we go, now the wipers are starting to work. Although I would argue that in real life, uh, an Airbus A319 wouldn't have an issue with rain, it would probably just run off the... Uh, Cockpit windows. So we'll be uh, using the turning circle down here to get spun around for runway two eight. If the plane wants to do a turn. Flex, says rest, take off, no blue, let's get rolling. Start the turn on course. Trust climb. And 
and get off at one going there. Start the turn on course, please. There we go. We don't have intercept, we gotta mind you to get off course. So. Yes, yes. Thank you for the follow! Aussie Pilot 392, thank you very much, dude. It'll be a turn to. Take a left to uh, 030, I think should do it. Let's get this up to cruising altitude, 290. Wipers can come off. Nose light can come off. And the landing lights. Has he got warm cocoa? Not me! And ooh ho ho, bit of turbulence. And the flaps can come, whoops, wrong way. Flaps up, and we can turn off the igniter as well. It's called, like, Coco. The thing is in English, it's Coco and chocolate. That's kind of the problem, is like, we don't really have a set word for it. Did I set two lines there? Yes. Interesting. Oh, is it that my top of the descent is like immediately ah top of the descent is immediately after top climb? So I might need to manually navigate, I guess. Direct to. Oh, sir. Insert. There we go. When do I fly into Yerevan? Um. Yerevan, Armenia. That's a while off. Uh, let me show you real quick. So we are right now, we're doing this flight here in between Rwanda and uh, Uganda. And if I want to get to Armenia, gotta go Kenya, Somalia, South Sudan, Ethiopia, the Arab states, we're gonna bunch them all in together, and the Middle East area, Turkey, Greece, uh, Albania, North Macedo Macedonia, which has officially been changed, that's nice. Uh, Kosovo, Bulgaria, where's Armenia? 
Armenia's over here somewhere, isn't it? I'm not great with, uh... There's Armenia. Ah, yeah. So, you're gonna have to wait for the remainder of Africa. Um, half the Middle East. Two-thirds of Europe. Um, Russia. And then it'll be after Georgia. When you see Tbilisi, we'll be flying into Yerevan after that. That's, um, because I, I have this entire tour planned. It's one of the very few things that I have entirely planned out, so, uh, if you put exclamation mark tour, is it tour or route? It's either tour or route, or O U T E or T-O-U-R. One of those two, after an exclamation mark, will give you the, um, the Google map that I'm using and you can see the entirety of the route and the fact that there's... I, I would say now there is a chunk of green on this mainly red map, but we still have a long way to go, especially seeing as the Caribbean and the US are just hilarious. Um, now there are going to be skippable legs, like a bunch of these down in Australia. I am half planning on skipping basically everything from here to here. Um, via like an eight hour long haul um, unfortunately like all of this is pretty much mandatory um, I can in theory skip these two legs and a few down in India as well but for the most part every leg brings me to a new country or a new stop that I need to get to. Um, the aim is to hit maybe not every country but almost every country in the world. <laughs> Which is why it's called the world tour. Um, right, we're already needing to have a look at our arrival, or our approach. That'll be the arrival. And that is the Mandy one, Charlie. Uh, Mandy, we have to be at flight level 150. So where's Mandy? 150. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna touch 270 and then start descending again. So Mandy, we gotta be at 150. Uh, I can remember 317 is flight level 100. Guessum is flight level 100. And then... Uh, for the RNAV 35. Uh, it'll be a Vama. Oh uh, no. Ibcode at 7700. And then basically straight in from 7700 down to 3745, a touchdown. Um, transition level by ATC. So we'll choose a transition level of about um, 10,000 feet. So I'm going to just change my land altitude here to 270 and hope that uh, the plane wants to do it um, I also want to check the runway we'll be landing on which is gonna be three five over here, uh, 3,600 meters, it should be good, VIP terminal is a Foxtrot on Apron 2, so we'll actually take the VIP terminal at Apron 2, so we will land 3-5, exit Echo, take Charlie to Fox, and park up over there in apron two. Uh, we're now at two seven zero. We'll need to reset this down to one five zero, I believe. Um, this is a surprisingly hectic flight. No, not window overlay. We have one five zero for Mandy. <laughs> it 
the Arnav has already been um, established. Enter destination data. Yes. Init uh, notes performance. Next phase. Approach. <laughs> Literally just got off off the ground. We're already putting in our approach uh, info. Uh, no, that's the wrong airport. Uh, QNH is one zero. I'm gonna have to bring Swift over to here. One zero one six. Not one zero one Papa. One zero one six. Uh, temperature two two. Wind is three six zero two. Uh, transition flight level is going to be 100. Uh, MDADH is going to be from the RNAV chart. And it's going to be uh, for RNAV 425. Agent will come in, config full. Um, and that's fine. Everything we need. Uh, back to the progress page, progress report. Um, oh, hang on a second. Progress page. Yeah, we're actually. Once this VDEV. Once VDEV here hits zero, that's when we want to start descending. We're currently 3,000 feet below that. But we can start a slow descent to 150 currently. We've been in the air for 15 minutes so far. <laughs> Already we have taken off, cruised, and now we're starting to descend. Um, I'll put on seat. I'll turn off the seatbelt signs until. Bed. This is the kind of flight where you wouldn't even get like a drink during cruise because there's there's no cruise. Like we took off from here, we're here, and we're already sitting to go here. Um, what I can do actually is uh, bring up some charts. Here, uh, we'll bring up the arrival chart. Um, we're in the menu on Charlie. We'll also bring up the approach chart, which is the Arnav runway 35. We'll also bring up the airport taxi chart. So we are currently approaching Mandy. Uh, we're off. Oh, we're here. We're going to be coming in over Lake Victoria as far as Jessam on the um, arrival itself. Onto the approach, we'll be intercepting the approach at Jessam at flight level 100. Uh, which, which is probably not in there. Um, then we'll be hitting Ibkut at 7700 and descending in. On the air, airfield itself then, we'll be taking runway 35 down all the way down to Echo, which means we'll only need oil brake 1. Um, we won't need a ton of power to get stopped in 3.5 kilometers. Um, if needs be, I can do manual braking and increase uh, reverse thrust, but I'm doubting that. Uh, once exited Echo, we will take... Um, I'm guessing this is all Echo here. We'll take this former runway, uh, which I'm gonna guess is... Boxtrot? It doesn't actually say on the chart. We'll take... This might be a continuation of Echo, you know. 
So it's like Echo, possibly Charlie. I'm doubting it's Charlie, that's looking more like Charlie. Yeah, we'll take Echo to Fox and then uh, park up at Apron 2 in one of the uh, VIP terminal spots. I really was not expecting to be descending this quickly. Or this soon after um, departure. I'm gonna be honest. I'm enjoying how derpy the uh, Librain plugin is with Tolus. It doesn't seem to want to work all that well. But we should be just approaching Lake Victoria. There's our turn for Mandy. Yeah, very small turn there at Octex for Mandy. Um... It's looking like it'll be less than a 45 minute flight. Um, this is going to be the last flight of the day. I was only planning on doing these two legs. Um, wasn't even planning on using a jet, but that, that's going to be it after this uh, for the day. And um, I'm going to go chill out and make myself something to eat after this, I think. So it's looking like weather won't be a factor on our approach. There's the weather that I was concerned about. Um, there's a little small bit over there, but that's the main patch that I was really worried about. It looks like it's just going to be cloudy um, as we descend down to uh, the airport. I do love Airbuses, though, because they just... They just do things. They don't, they don't really hassle you. <coughs> like in Boeing's, you gotta pull out the speed brakes, you gotta faff about with all the things. In an Airbus, it just kind of... It just does things for you. It sets your descent throttle. It sets everything, and you you just you're just there along for the ride and to land the damn thing. And so how are we um, getting to one five? Uh, Level 150 by Mandy. It's saying we should get there by Mandy. And then at Echo November 317, we should be at uh, 10,000 feet. Yeah, we'll, we'll be at 150 by Mandy, that's fine. I'm gonna turn on the windscreen wiper again to try and get rid of the, the library and derpiness. Come on, shoo! Shoo, get off my windscreen. There we go, I've apparently disrupted it enough that it's realised it needs to go now. Um, what's it like on first officer side? That's fine. So, gun is armed, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That second goes well. Um, that's all fine. Comically, this is using a Boeing FMC as a uh, a model here because the Airbus one does look slightly different. It's actually using. 
No, this is an Airbus one. It's just the old Airbus one that's using, interesting me. So, gear's up and locked currently. We will bring it down once we hit flaps one. And we should have the airport inside in the next few minutes. Five zero, perfect. Managing speed down to ten thousand now. We should be uh, landing fairly shortly. Get uh, preparing here. We'll need uh, seven thousand seven hundred for the beginning of the approach. Um, QH one zero one six. Set three times. Perfect. We'll start decel um, for Ibcud. Fantastic. That is, I think, everything. Um, why is the shadows not? Okay. 
Hope I learn how to use this plugin before I start messing with it. Reset. Altimeter setting. Oh, altimeter setting's fine. Might shatter me again for altimeter, but it's fine. Um, is it that the Lua engine stopped again? Kill. Yep. Let's kill the lower engine. So let's get restarted. There we go. Oh, it's just a really awkward angle, that, but Shadow is trying to be it. That's fine. Um, also, is Fly with Lua active on this plane? Are you like realistic? Yes. Doesn't feel like it, but it is. We should be at 10,000 or below. 10,000, perfect. Just manage the speed now, because we are. What the hell is that? Ah. Uh. Explain, you're slightly drunk. I'm not quite sure what that... Look at the cloud over here! Isn't, isn't, isn't this cloud particularly nice? Let's, let's ignore whatever this is. And look at the clouds. Ten thousand until Jessen so twenty nautical miles at ten thousand feet. And then it will be descending further. What the hell is going on with this? I do not understand. Um, <sighs> Half an hour in the air on this flight. This is dumb. This is extremely dumb. I'm going to be landing soon, but also... I can see why in real life this is like a 45 minute flight. Um, that's not been on one hour flights before where they do like a full service, so they must start the service like really early in the flight. And, uh, no. Librain, calm down, you're slightly drunk. So this is, by the way, the, um, the skin I have, the livery I have for this Airbus, it's a quite nice private jet skin, which I'm going to presume it actually exists. And my god, that nose up attitude. I'm going to presume this livery actually exists in real life, because it does look quite cool. Uh, if it doesn't, and if I ever have, like, a few hundred million dollars, I will buy the, an Airbus A319 and paint it like this, because I really like the, uh... 
color scheme it has. Right, we're approaching Jessen now, or Gessen, whichever. Um, I am going to guess... We have the airport in sight, and we'll need to swap over to the approach now. So the airport's going to be over there somewhere. Should start a descent in a few minutes. We'll be going flaps one shortly as well. So we got 17 nautical miles to Ibkud. an awkwardly long time to be at this kind of altitude. Let's get the seatbelt sign back on. Um, look at the landing lights coming on here. I was throwing my turnoffs on the entire flight. Oops. Um, well, have plenty of time to get the, uh, the APU running once we land. There's our descent now to 7700. Can I turn on approach mode? Oh, it's an Arnav approach. We don't need to. It should automatically. If I turn on now. Hmm. Should have done it with the second autopilot on, but it doesn't seem to want to. So 7700 is the aim here. And coming up to Ibkud we will be entering D cell. So we will want to go flaps one soon. Let's enter landing mode on the displays at least. Had a bit of rain, but that's not gonna be an issue. Here comes D-Cell. Just want to verify. Okay. Fantastic. Just wanted to double check my controls for the flaps, because they're not they're the exact opposite of what I got used to. There's 7700 right now. Here's D-Cell. Red out star and speed. So we will go flaps one. Flaps too. So we should start going down to fifty eight hundred. We are not. Approach mode. Two autopilots, flaps three and four.
flaps full. And gear down. Gear down through green. Final approach active. It feels as if we're trying to land on a taxiway here, but I'm gonna trust it. Also looks as if the terminal I want to go to doesn't exist in this scenery. Which would be inconvenient. And our go around altitude is what? Like the late zero. Utsas would be 5800, Utsas for 5900, we got a small bit of VDEV. so they can hear what the hell I'm trying to do here and approach. Get the other pilots off. Okay, let's check. Landing, no blue. the auto throttle, auto throttle in until we touch down because we can disable it by just going to thrust idle. Feet stabilized, Mr. Roach altitude set. Which I think is a Boeing thing, but I'm gonna say it in an Airbus anyway. And we can go visual from here, I can see the puppies. Approaching three, five. One way checked. I guess like crosswind. I don't know. Whoa! That wind shear though. Continue. Southern Africa, yes, Blaj, Southern Africa. For the first time in a while, I've had to go around. Okay, this is not gonna have. This is gonna have to be a. Uh, a manual landing, or an, uh, this is gonna have to auto land. Um. It's been a long time since I've had to 
go around like that. Okay, yeah, what's our go around? Climbing 350 to Aveco, turn left to Egnex, hold fly level 80. Um, we're going to eliminate the hold and just proceed direct. Uh, guess them. Um, can you 204? We're not at 204 yet. Odd star. So do I need to replan the approach now, or can I just bring it straight into... I need to replan the approach. Wow. Well, maybe not. Um, Altimeter setting. Arrival. Yeah, that's still all good. So can I go direct to... Um, can I go direct IBCOD? Would that be a thing I could do? Yes, yes it is. Let's go direct IBCOD. Actually, let's go direct to uh, Jessam. That is the first time I've had to go around in... I don't even want to think about how long it's been. <laughs> I want to go speed to 20, if that would be possible, please, Blaine. No, actually, we'll go speed star. We'll go whatever speed the plane wants to go. Um, yeah, that was different. I've gone around a few times off camera DMF, but the last time I did a go around on the tour, it was in the 737, I can't remember where it was. Um, when I came into land, wasn't happy, did a go around, and um, just flew visual for a bit. But it has been a long time since I've been coming in on an approach that unhappy that I felt the need to toga. Which, by the way, if you're doing flight sims yourself, um, it's a real life. <laughs> it's a real life thing too, but. You know that I'm a flight sim guy um, in these streams, so uh, that's what I'm going to be using as a reference. Uh, when you are unhappy with an approach, it is much easier and better to just say, No, not doing this. 
Um, I'm going to go around then to try and force it down. I was way too high on the glide slope. It was actually for red or for white. Um, I wasn't willing to try and slam it. So I figured it was much better to just rev it up, get up again, and uh, see how we go on attempt two. Which this time I'll be using Autoland, which I've never used before in the Airbus. <laughs> so I'm not going to touch anything until 20 feet above the runway. At which point I'll just be bringing the throttle down. Um. I'm kind of curious what kind of landing Autoland will give me. And I make fun of Traff for using Autoland, I'm going to be using myself. Ah. Hang on, let me let me let me let Traff know. <laughs> he, he started his own stream to get the one time that he that there are genuine memes on here he's starting his own stream right um we'll go direct to Ipcud now Time we've decelled, we should be good to get everything in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Brightside, you guys get to see this lovely scenery just one more time. Because, uh, you know, that, that's totally what the intention was, is just to show you this really quite nice scenery around uh, Lake Peak. Of course, it's raining. And Lake Victoria and uh, southern Uganda. Um, the Airbus is showing me the way. Uh, we're gonna keep the music off for the remainder of the stream, I think. There's uh, reasons of because. Right. We are um, actually above profile. Can I get you to descend properly, please? No, you don't want to. So we'll just set this to seventy seven hundred. So that we're level. Seventy seven hundred, please. Get the wipers on the go. Even though we're traveling way too fast for the wipers to actually work. Uh ta 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 Okay, here's D cell. Continue our range going. There's D cell. We'll flip standard off to 1016 again. Go speed uh, 200. Actually, go 180 for uh, line up with final. Yes, simulate. This is why nobody is in TeamSpeak. You've missed a go around. You've actually missed me having to hit Toga. Also, whatever the windscreen is doing. 
flaps one. Speed check, flaps one. Okay. There's our turn. We'll set 5800 now. Get descending again. Get approach in. Both autopilots on. And I'm hoping that I can get this to work. Flaps two. Vipers can come off. Hey, Dirty Max. Just watching all that. How far into it are you, Sim? Did you like the um, redonkulous number of Canadian destroyers? Let's slow down to 160. Flaps 3 and 4. Which I know I'm configuring early, but I don't know what else to do right now. And five. Oh, there are only four flaps settings. Well, flaps four is max then. Um, we could probably get away with flaps two. Am I gonna flap about now? No. So let's uh, start the speed. Tag ladder match at the moment. Have you got to the Canadian Destroyer section of that match yet? I'm not going to spoil it, but there, there is a segment of the match that I named last night as the Canadian Destroyer segment. Why is the plane speeding up? No, our data should say activate approach, confirm approach. There we go. So we will very soon be getting that ridiculous wind shear. I actually didn't watch TakeOver, I should have, but I was watching something, I can't remember what. I was watching something else and I figured, <laughs> figured in my own mind that was more important. I should have watched TakeOver, apparently it was fantastic, yes. Okay, there we are, fully... Fully configured, gear down, and here's about where we hit the wind shear. So I'm expecting the autopilot to start having trouble. How come we hit wind shear but the autopilot didn't? Three, five. Let's get the autopilot off. Minimum. Continue. bounced. We've still got the nose <laughs> let's keep let's keep the nose gear in the air as long as we can. There we go.
you you are You what? Okay. This is bouncing, landing, popping a sick wheelie. Still wheeling. What? Trying to figure out what broke to cause that. Oh. Oh, we're still in replay mode. No, let's exit replay mode. Let's see if the, the extinguishers do work. Now, it's count of the planes being crashed, not having a flame out. I don't know what caused that. I mean, we're going to count it because I did land. It's just that the plane decided to do it. Oh my god. Decided to do a jump immediately afterwards. I'm so confused. Uh, that's going to do it. <laughs> I'll be on TS in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, that was something waking out. Because I was going way too slow for there to be any lift in the wings. I was going about 60 knots. I actually just, uh, just looked up Project Fly. It says... Um, Like my first landing was minus 707, 704 for the main one. Right. Oh no, that's the same landing. Yeah, minus 707. And then the jump was a 5G 60 knot jump. And 
one of these replays of the jump counted as 63 knots and 7.8 G. Oh, look! I can see what's happened is the landing gear went in and, and pinged back out. See the way the gears are bent in? It's the landing gear did a weird thing. The landing gear bugged out. But, um, yeah, that's... Let me just update the map. That's gonna do it for today. Um... That was by far the strangest pair of legs yet, because we crashed, then uncrashed, and then finished with the game causing us to crash for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with Farmson. Until then, stay safe, and goodbye.